morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi. Happy um, Wednesday. I have something fun for you. Um, and so just hold one sec. Okay. For, um, we did this last month, kind of like just a fun little, let's just like, let's just, hi. Hi. I'm just saying we did this last month, a fun little, Hey, it's spring. What do we wear? What do we make out of the clothes we already have? And everybody was like, please, please do this again. Like pick another category pick another item like give us hello allison hi jen welcome thank you so apparently people want you to tell them how to dress as <laughs> they should like as they should because this is your deal um guys let me give you a quick reminder if you missed me and allison's ig live last month where we were discussing the ubiquitous denim jacket um, and how to style it. And by the way, like with whatever you have in your already own closet that you've already spent your money on. Um, we're doing it today again with a real fun spring hero item dresses with sleeves and pockets. So just that isn't enough for you guys to stay in. Let me just give you a real high level on Allison before I hand her like the baton. Reminder, Allison, um, do I say your last name right? Limbatus? Yes. Yeah, just making sure. That's how I've always been saying it, but I'm like, no, no, sure most people I'm say Lombatus, you got it. Okay, you got it. Okay, you guys, Allison's an entrepreneur. She is a best selling author. She um, has like an audience of like millions of women through her fun, fun platform called Get Your Pretty On. This is a blog. This is kind of what she does in the world. Served like 100 million women already um, through her kind of personal styling formula which she calls the outfit formulas uh and just i promise you you don't have to know anything about anything to be able to do this okay you don't have to be a fashion girl you don't have to like know what you're talking about you don't have to like to go to the mall okay and so um this is basically the number one capsule wardrobe program in the world all right and here we are right here on our little ig live talking about a hi good morning you look Hi, so and who knew that all would start out of me throwing on my faded black yoga pants every morning? <laughs> I mean, we're, let's talk about that for a second because um, uh, for the people that missed our first foray into what do we do with a denim jacket, um, can you sort of talk about the beginning um, place, the beginning space of what it is now that you've built into this huge thing? Yeah, so back in 2013, I got the opportunity to work from home for the first time, which was amazing, which many of us realized during the pandemic for about three months. <laughs> and then I started noticing all these things that were changing in my environment. Like I, I was throwing on my faded black yoga pants every morning, but I wasn't working out. Um, right. You know, I just wasn't feeling just... <laughs> yeah. Yes. None of my yoga pants have ever been to yoga. Um, and I just started noticing kind of the snowball effect of things happening in my life over, you know, this course of a, around three to six months, and I couldn't really put my finger on it. And whenever I sat down to really think about it, the one thing that I kept going back to was, I don't have accountability for, you know, getting dressed in the morning. I was just rolling out of bed, seeing the kids off to school, pull my hair in the ponytail, no makeup, you know, throw on the sweatpants and just stay that way all day. I wasn't even showering, <laughs> which I probably shouldn't admit, but it's no, true we're real here right um yeah. but it was it was a struggle both in you know externally in the way my appearance was but internally i think is where it really hit me and where i really started to kind of fall into i've had high functioning depression you know at periods of my life and this was kind of like falling down that slippery slope and i could feel that happening and i knew that I had to change something. And the most tangible thing that did not feel super overwhelming at that time was, I'm gonna get dressed tomorrow morning. So I woke up and put on real clothes. Uh, one of the things that I did realize though was that I walked into my closet and I realized that I had a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear yeah. because everything in there was for like my office life, nothing for mm -hmm. 
working from home or evenings or weekends. And I just didn't know how to dress myself anymore. So I, I really started to rebuild my wardrobe and started sharing that through my blog, Get Your Pretty On. And that's how the whole platform started. Somebody who was a telecom engineer at the time, <laughs> like, no style experience. I have never felt stylish in, in my life. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't discover my personal style until I was in my 40s. And, yeah. um, you know, I think one of the most important realizations that I had out of that was that style is actually a skill. I thought, oh, you're mm -hmm. either born stylish and fashionable and this comes naturally or you're just not. And you just yeah. don't, you don't get that. But I realized it's kind of like math. I'm not good at math either, but I can learn math. And I yeah. set out to teach myself style and how it works and just started kind of sharing from that place of, hey, here I am on my journey. I might be just like one step ahead of where you are right now, but this is what I'm learning. And these are the pieces I'm adding to my closet. Mm -hmm. And this is how I'm pairing them up. So I love this. And this has served so many women for an obvious reason, because most of us feel that way. Mm -hmm. You know, very few of us actually work in fashion or feel like we have a super good handle on that. Um, and then of course, as mentioned, tons of us are working in different environments. Now we're working from home. If, if everything's just a little bit different. So this is why your work is resonating. I think so much. So you guys today for your viewing pleasure, um, Allison has put together four outfits and I'm going to put all these in stories. Okay. Um, around our hero item dresses with sleeves, um, and pockets, um, and four ways to wear them. So uh, this particular dress I'm wearing, but this is able, I, I, I don't know if you men heard me mention it a couple of weeks ago, but I worked with able, I designed a, um, dresses with sleeves collection, um, for this spring. Cause that is my, um, worldview. That's my favorite worldview is sleeves and pockets. Okay. Um, and so I love this collab, super proud of it. We're going to talk about some of those. However, Allison's outfit formulas are work for whatever. You can shop in your own closet, like what you've already bought, what you already have. So it's not a prerequisite at all. It's just what I happen, we're gonna be using today because of the fun dresses with sleeves collection. Yes. Uh, we're over at Able. Okay, let's go, let's do this. Um, why do we love um, dresses with sleeves, Allison? <laughs> <laughs> I love everything with sleeves. I'm like, I'm big into sleeves. <laughs> Yeah, but let's first off say like how cool is that you have your own dress collection and you put pockets in all the dresses. So everyone, thank you. I wore this cute little black dress last week and I was like, yeah. oh, I could put my phone in my pocket. I, mean, <laughs> so, I super like, why, cute. Bother, why bother if there's no pockets? I, I totally agree. I'm, I'm with you 100%. No. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And the thing I love about dresses too is that they're an instant outfit. Like you don't have to, they're a no brainer. Seriously. No. You don't have to think about, does this go with this? Like throw on the dress and a couple accessories, a cute pair of sandals, and you are done for the day. Like it is the easiest outfit formula that there is out there, honestly. So yeah, I'm gonna show you some ways to pair up the dresses back here. I, these are adorable. Yeah. Um, I, I had a fun little try on session with all of them the other day and just playing around with different accessories and shoes. And honestly, yeah. like these are gonna be staples in my spring and summer collection. I'm, I'm in love with all of them. Same. 100% same. Girl, let's do it. What do you have right. for us? Let's do it. Okay. Obviously, I don't have a cameraman. We're like super professional around here. So excuse me while I get set up. <laughs> I'm up on a tripod here, kind of janky plugs everywhere. I'm yeah. <laughs> you should see what's behind us right now. You don't want to yeah. see that. <laughs> All right. We're going to start off with the Jane dress. I love this dress yeah. so much. It's a maxi dress. For those of you who are asking, maxi dresses are totally on trend for spring and summer. Mm -hmm. I know everyone's like, well, they were having a moment a few years ago. Are they back? They are back big time. I love this dress for so many reasons. Number one, it is super lightweight. It's really gauzy. It's so beachy and the beach is my happy place. Um, but this is so easy to dress up or down. I was even thinking like, this would be pretty to wear to a beach wedding. And I grabbed my little hat to throw on here for my accessory with this dress. And I was like, Ooh, it's so boho chic. <laughs> exactly. And you can definitely pair this up with braided sandals. Like these are on trend for spring. They're going to carry over into summer. You can pair it up with these cute little raffia sandals. I know that Ava, ha a Abel has some raffia sandals too, but I love these, the raffia with the gauzy dress. Or if you wanted to dress it up a bit, you can definitely add in cute little pair of comfy wedges with that. 
throw on some layered necklaces, the cute little hat, and you have an instant outfit with that one. Totally. I wore that dress. That exa I mean, by the way, these are all like in that collection, you guys. But I wore that white dress um, with my little sneakers. And it was so cute. I love that. So cute. Sneakers, too. Like, you can just dress down a dress just like that with your little trendy sneaks. And I yes. put, like, big, like, swooshy ponytail. And the thing about dresses, too, like, yes, number one, so easy. Like you just said, instant outfit. Also, mm -hmm. what? Well, it's like wearing pajamas. I mean, it is. no button. There's no zipper. There's no clingy. There. I mean, who... Why do we not wear them every day is really the better question. I know. I was thinking this is like an elevated nightgown, honestly. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's an elevated nightgown. Correct. It is. Yeah. Awesome. So All right. So this next dress, I love this dress so much. It's the Ida shirt dress, the green one. Super cute. I love the dresses. I think that um, I'm sure that you thought about this, but they work for every body shape and the bands define the waist. Um, the cuts are super cute. So I was playing around with pairing this one up. And I'm a big fan of pattern mixing, which we can talk about for a minute. Um, I know that it scares some people to mix patterns, but uh, over the weekend I was playing around with this dress. I'm like, well, we could do a little bit of subtle pattern with the stripes on this crossbody. That's and cute. then add in something like the sneakers you mentioned, these that have just a little bit of leopard print on the back. So, I mean, that's really subtle and that's kind of like pattern mixing 101. Again, I know this scares a lot of people. I did a poll on my stories a few weeks ago and I was like, it was kind of 50-50 where people were like, eh, I definitely do not want to try pattern mixing. And other people are like, yeah, I definitely want to do this. So there are ways that you can kind of step into it where it's not as scary. Granted, there are much bolder things that we can do with pattern mixing, which I'll show you in a second, but that's such an easy, subtle way to do it. And I really love olive with black too. So I think this yeah. would look super cute with a pair of black sandals. Um, you could add in if you wanted to, you know, a topper is one of the pieces of our outfit formulas. And if you don't live in Texas where it's already going to be 80 degrees today, yeah. <laughs> then you could definitely add a cute little denim jacket on top of that too. Adorable. Um, and by the way, you just mentioned how these dresses are genu genuinely good for any body type. And I want you to know, like, if you're paying attention this is one of the million reasons I work with Able because they have inclusive um, styles, um, inclusive sizing. So their sizes in these start at extra, extra small for the teeny littles. Um, and they, they go up to um, 3X. So where, however beautiful your body is, they'll fit in, inside these clothes. Um, and these clothes will look fantastic on you. And so... Absolutely. And I, I'm like a huge believer in finding worthiness through wardrobe. And like, we are all worthy of clothes that fit and flatter our bodies. And we all deserve to dress the body that we have now. And I just think that's so important for women to understand that you don't have to wait for a certain number on a scale or to get to a certain place to wear clothes that make you feel amazing, because we all deserve to have clothes that fit our bodies. And I, I love to use the analogy of like, you wouldn't try to fit your foot into a pair of shoes that didn't fit you. Like I wear an eight and a half. So I go out and buy an eight and a half. I don't try to fit them into the seven and a half. That's good. And our or clothes should be the same way, right? Says we only put out size sevens. Yeah. You, you know, that's, we, we don't go there. We don't yeah. trust you. Exactly. Um, yeah, exactly. Like go to the places that say, we love your body exactly how it is and how it looks and we can dress you. Absolutely. Yes. And if you need a little help with online shopping, I know it can be tricky for some people. I always recommend taking your measurements every season because all mm -hmm. the, every single online retailer has that little chart on there. Go in there and see what your measurements are. And that's yeah. going to guarantee that you get the right fit. Or sometimes I order two sizes. If I'm not quite sure which one's going to work for me, I'll check the return policies. Then I'll order two sizes and end up sending back one. But I'll do anything to avoid walking into a shopping mall. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> and online shopping is my best friend. So, um, so much so. yes, it's, it's totally worth it just to take your measurements and try to get the right fit online. So yep. Great tip. we're going to move on to this one. I think this is my favorite. I just I love an easy little comfy dress. And this mm -hmm. is the Sandra swing dress. And this mm -hmm. is the one I was throwing my cell phone into the pocket of this weekend. 
This is so cute. And we're going to do a little bit of pattern mixing with this too, because this is the Emerson scarf that I see you wear with your little messy bun. It's so cute. So you could definitely put this in your hair. I'm just going to sit it up there really fashionable like. <laughs> and then our favorite, the hero piece from our last live. I can't tell you how many compliments I've never gotten so many compliments on a single item in my wardrobe in my entire life as I do on this jacket. I have strangers stop me out in public and say, where did you get that denim jacket? It, it really is the perfect denim jacket. I say that all the time and I say it because I mean it. Yes. It is the I reach for literally 99 times out of 100. The fit and it's so soft and I just love the little updated details. I have some classic denim jackets that I've had for years, but this one's just got a little bit of light distressing. It's it's all about the detail. So I absolutely love this. This is the Merlin jacket. And we could also do our leopard sneakers with this cute yeah. little outfit. I love the leopard wedges with this. If you hate heels, you will love wedges. I yep. promise you. Yeah. <laughs> or block heels. Block heels are also great. But uh, there's, there's just so much versatility with this. I think this is the perfect travel outfit. I would totally wear this on a plane with yep. my comfy little sneakers. And it is the perfect travel outfit for okay. spring summer. Last week, I was in Arkansas last week on a work trip, and I had a busy day on the go on the ground. That's the dress that I wore. And it just can absolutely go the distance. Allison, somebody was just asking on the feed in terms of the scarf. So they're <laughs> like, what about us with short hair? And don't you think this little scarf can be a necktie? Absolutely. You can tie it around your neck. One of my favorite things to do, too, with scarves is tie them on my purse. I like oh, to yeah. just put them on the purse strap to add a little bit of pattern to an outfit. It adds interesting detail if you don't want to put it on your body. But yeah, this little scarf is really cute as a neck scarf too. It's the perfect size for that. I've uh -huh. even seen people like tie them in their belt loops, which is so cute. Is There's so like many it. different things you can do with them. Uh, you know, people ask me all the time, are scarves still in style? Yes, they absolutely are, especially the smaller square scarves. These are the yeah. ones that are having a moment right now. The bigger scarves, maybe not as much. They'll come uh -huh. back, don't worry. They're a classic item, but these yeah. are absolutely in style. Right, guys, those scarves are real light, real silky, real loose. By the way, uh, for those of you asking, yes, the Merle denim jacket is also able. Yes. Um, and um, Allison and I talked about this last time when we styled the jacket, um, but a good denim jacket is like a, you'll be wearing it a decade from now. Yes. It, in fact, it's even better a decade from now than it, it is right really now. Is. Yeah, so, it's a good investment piece. You know, I talk yeah. about closet staples all the time, and I'm telling women there are certain items that you should absolutely invest in. These are the things that you're going to wear season after season, year after year. Things yeah. are going to hold up really well. And, you know, they'll come to me and say, well, is this something like <clears throat> name brand? Do I have to, you know, go out and buy something designer? No, not necessarily. There are designer items that do fall into the category of being high quality, but just really looking for good materials and things that are going to hold up over time and that are classic items and it's okay if you buy like the cheaper version of something and wear it for a while and then realize like I did this with leopard flats years ago. I bought a $20 pair at Target and then I wore them out and I was like, okay, Allison, you have permission, like go upgrade to the better version of this, the better quality item. So really thoughtfully think about, you know, adding pieces with intention to your wardrobe and a denim jacket is definitely one of those items that it's absolutely worth investing a little bit more to get the one that you are in love with Absolutely. because you're going to wear it all the time. I wear this jacket. I'm not kidding. Probably four times a week. No, me <laughs> too. Me yeah. too. It, I, I love it. And it can, it goes over all, virtually almost anything. So yes. real quick, I'm going to answer another question that I just, somebody just threw up in the thing when they were asking if the white maxi is see-through and it's not, it's lined. Yeah. No. Listen, yep. We can't it be is. walking or underwear showing you guys so see yeah. I have my hand behind it it is completely opaque yeah it's totally lined and so don't even worry about it you can even wear your like print underwear no one's gonna no one's yes gonna <laughs> I was thinking a swimsuit would be cute under it too it would make a really cute swim cover-up oh cute idea yeah. flowy and wide and beachy and pooly I that is <laughs> yeah. okay what else do you have well, we have your dress that you're wearing, which I love. I, there, I, there's nothing not to love about this dress, seriously. I love the details in the sleeves. They have a slightly balloon sleeve on it. It has a little bit of the drop shoulder here. Um, and it has the button placket, so you can definitely unbutton those to show off your pretty necklaces, which you did. Huh? And, you know, this is another dress. It's so easy to dress up or down. 
Um, again, if you want to do a topper, you can. You can do a white denim jacket. You can do a beige colored cardigan uh, if it's still a little bit cool in the part of the world that you live in right now. Um, I love just the simple neutrals, honestly. I'm just, I have a thing for them, just the simple tan and cream and add a yeah. simple neutral wedge with that. But you could also do the sneakers with this. So cute. I styled this the other day. I actually wore the other Nico dress in the black and white grid and put the sneakers on with it. And it is just adorable. I just feel like this dress is super versatile because you could wear this honestly, like we said before, traveling on a plane with your sneakers, get uh -huh. to your venue or event, throw on a pair of leopard yep. wedges with it, which we're pattern mixing again. <laughs> yeah. And you're ready to go. It is totally. the, the cutest Here. little dress. And I'll show you guys. So like, so you can see how it, so I have that on. And this, like, you can kind of see the link. Here, let me get it from my tiptoes. So it's, <laughs> it's just above the knee. So you're not like, oh, this is too long or too short. It's just right. And of course, the pocket. And it's swingy. Like this is a small, just in case you're wondering what size is. Like you can see, it's like got a tons of room and I'm 5'8". So like there's a lot of wiggle room in this yes. dress. And, but it looks really cute. To me, the balloon sleeve is what gives it, it's like cute appeal. It, it just takes it from, it takes it up a notch. Yep. Uh, but the pockets, I know, right? Come on. I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about the sleeves again. Like, I feel like I'm a simple t-shirt and jeans girl, but if something's got a cute little embellished sleeve on it, like, sometimes it's the smallest detail that just make the outfit. You don't really have to spend a lot of time worrying about accessorizing or about layering pieces, because if you find kind of like that statement item or those pieces that have the details like the Nico dress that you can just wear on its own, then you don't have to worry so much about the other pieces that go with it. Again, we've got instant outfits with our dresses and that's, the, it, it just takes all that decision fatigue away when you're trying to decide what to wear in the morning. I always tell women, go pick a dress out and throw in a cute pair of shoes with it because that is the easiest way to get dressed every day. And women are like, no, like dresses are special occasion or dressing, no, they're not. Like every single one of these dresses, absolutely you can dress it up just by changing out the footwear and accessories. But you can also dress them down, put on the sneakers, the flip-flops, whatever. They're great yep. for every day, too. And just running errands and being super comfortable and feeling like really you're getting away with being in your PJs all day long. And who doesn't love that? <laughs> Absolutely. And you guys, this dress comes in the, the black and white check pattern, too. Yes. This is for spring, the neutral and the cream. But oh, yeah, there. Same dress, different pattern. Um, for those of you who are like, black is my uniform. I also understand that. Um, and so this is the same exact dress, just two different patterns. I have them in both, of course. Okay. All right. What else? So we talked a little bit about pattern mixing. I'm going to go through pattern mixing 101. So we're going to talk a little bit about this because I know it scares a lot of people, but this is such a fun thing to do in the spring. I feel like I always gravitate toward mixing patterns. We did a little bit of subtle pattern mixing with these pieces. And you can also just take, you know, the solid color dresses and add in a few little items just to make it fun. And again, if this is something you're new to, start out with your patterns far away from each other. For instance, like if you're doing a striped top, then do leopard shoes so that there's a little bit of space between it. When you're ready to graduate up a little bit in pattern mixing and want to go to that next level, kind of like the master level of doing it, then you can pull the pieces up closer to each other, like the striped top with the leopard skirt. The rule of thumb with pattern mixing is to match one color in both patterns. So in this case, we're matching the black in both of these patterns. And you also want to vary the size of your patterns. You can do small patterns with small patterns, or you can do busier patterns with simpler yeah. patterns, like a floral oh. with some polka dots, or you can go all in with a really bold pattern like these shorts with a striped top, but keeping one simple and one bold or keeping both simple. So it's a really fun way to play around with the clothes that you already have in your closet and just be able to shop your closet, pull pieces out and start putting together different outfit formulas. Uh, you know, I think that this is another way that we can remove decision fatigue. Like start by cleaning out your closet, taking out everything that you're not wearing because your brain doesn't know does this fit me? Is this on season? Like it doesn't know that. Or is this corporate past life clothes that I don't wear anymore? Take all of that stuff out of there and then put the things back in that you are actually wearing every day. 
because that's going to show you what you actually have and also help you determine what do I need? Do I need to add some cute new dresses to my wardrobe? Do I need new jeans? Do I need new t-shirts? You know, what is it that you need to fill in the gap? Do I need a new denim jacket <laughs> or do I just want one? I mean, that's okay too. Yeah. But yeah, just starting out with that good core base of items and then adding in pieces as you need them. And this removes overwhelm in the store too. I always say it's kind of like, meal planning for your closet. If you're walking into the grocery store hungry and you don't know what you need, you're gonna buy all the things and not know if you get home, like, can I make a meal out of this? And clothes are the same way. Like if you go out to the store and you just get random items and bring them home and you're not sure if you A, need them or if they go with other pieces in your closet, I'd love to tell the story that I at one time had 15 black and white striped shirts. I think it's down to like five now. Because I kept going out and buying more. I'm like, I love striped shirts. I'm just going to get more of them. But I didn't actually need them. So now that I shop with a purpose and actually add pieces with intention, it's made all the difference in my wardrobe and, and in my style. Because I feel like it's given me the opportunity to know myself better. And the more you know yourself, the more aware you are of your personality, mm. the better you're able to determine what your style is and what's gonna work best for you and for your lifestyle. A closet full of high heels doesn't work well for me. I work from home. Mm. But I've been able to you know, slowly add in all of these cute little flat shoes that work for my daily life and you know, really just approaching it from that standpoint of what works for me, what wardrobe suits me best is oh. a true game changer. Totally. I think I told you the last time you and I hopped on IG that I had like recently cleaned out. I mean, I'm kind of throwing this guess up, but probably 75% of my closet. Yeah. And I'm shocked by how much, how many things I had in the closet that I haven't touched in two plus years, haven't even touched yet. They made me feel overwhelmed by just being mm -hmm. in. And so the, everything feels so much simpler and cleaner now. I'm such a reduced capacity. Um, but I know exactly what I have. Um, I've put my hands on every single thing and chosen for it to keep or go. Uh, and I hung it in my closet in such a way that I know what goes with what. Like it, it's organized in a way that makes sense to me. Yes. Um, so I look for where to reach and it's color coordinated. Um, and so that's helpful. Like, it is. It really is. And I'm, I'm glad you, you quoted that stat of 75% because that's about average. Most women yeah. only wear about 20% of what's in their closet. So that 80% that's in there is just like taking up space and creating yeah. clutter. And I also love what you said about organizing your closet in a way that works for you. I think that's so important. A lot of women come to me and say, how should I organize my closet? And it really varies depending on like, what is your personality type and how do you, what makes the most sense to you when you walk in? Do you want to see like all of your casual clothes here or do you want to see things color coordinated you have to work out that system that's going to work best for you and it's really all about just finding the system that makes you walk in your closet and smile and not feel overwhelmed and have that you know just that feeling of i don't know where to start here and removing so much stuff is such an, an amazing way to do that just get rid of it you can sell or donate the things that you're not wearing and then put things in boxes if you're not sure about it you know a lot of women are like, well, you know, I gained the pandemic 15 and I kind of don't want to get rid of it. You don't have to, but out of sight, out of mind, just take it out of there, put it in a box, put it in a different closet, just get it out of your closet for now. Because number one, those clothes are not going to motivate you. And, <laughs> and number two, they might make you feel bad. And number three, you don't want to see them every day when you walk in there, because again, you're overwhelming your brain with choices and it doesn't know what you're actually wearing and what you're not wearing. Awesome. These are such good tips. I'm really excited about the pattern mixing. You know, back in the olden days, that was a rule that the people said you couldn't do. And so I, a lot of us had this come up and during that fashion rule. And so it's so fun to know that that is completely reversed and we can play around with it. And also this is not like dire stuff. Like we're not curing cancer. It's yeah. just, it's, it's Tuesday. It's what you're wearing to target. Right. Okay. Like the consequences here are negligible. Like just try it out, who cares? Exactly, exactly. Um, and I mean, and you know, it's, it's kind of, style's one of those things that can evolve over your lifetime too. If you feel like five years ago, you decided that you were one certain type of style, you have, you can wake up tomorrow morning and change that. And that's the beauty of it. Like I can wake up tomorrow and say, 
I have a boho vibe now and start dressing in that way. And it's fun as you grow and your yeah. personality develops and we go through life, like growth and change are inevitable and our style should change along with that. And it's a fun way to just explore all of the different facets of our personality and, and just discover new ways of expressing ourselves. And I love that you brought that up about the old style rules. I feel like most of us get kind of boxed in by those. Like I can't wear white jeans, you know, after Labor Day or, you know, there's, there's all these rules that we have in our heads, right? But our moms and grandmas, <laughs> for the most part, are like putting these rules in our heads. And age appropriateness is another big issue out there. I got flamed on TikTok <laughs> because TikTok people can be mean a few weeks ago because I was wearing jeans with a bunch of holes in them and basically saying like, there's no such thing as age appropriate style. It's you appropriate style. I'm 48 years old. And if I want to wear holes in my jeans, then I've earned the right to do that. If I look in the mirror and I feel confident in an item, then that's all that should matter for me. Like that's my litmus test for wearing things. And it's never too late to try a trend and whatever makes you feel like the best version of yourself. There's so much research out there that supports that the way we dress affects our confidence, our, our self-efficacy. It's a form of self-care. It also affects the way the world looks at us and the things that they assume about us. And we can do something so simple and so tangible, and that's changing our clothes. Like, next time you get dressed, think about this. The way that I dress could actually change my life. And I know it sounds like grandiose, but it's so true. Yeah. That's so great. People ask me a lot, like, because I wear hats a lot. They're like, oh, I wish I could wear hats. I'm not a hat person. I'm like, no, look, look, up, look, look, look here. Put a hat on your head. Yes. Go out of your house and go somewhere. Guess what? You're a hat person now. You are. That's, that's admission to the club, is you put one on your head, and now you are a hat person. And so, 100%. <laughs> like, this is a laid back approach to, like, trying something new and trying something you love on other people. And then, like, there's no, like, a membership to like any one style. And so um, I love that approach. Okay, listen, I want everybody to know this before we sign off here. Um, okay, first of all, we were talking earlier about getting the right fit when you're shopping online. And also, right, praise to the baby Jesus for online shopping. Thank you, Lord. This is all my dreams coming true. Um, having your measurements is one really good approach to getting it right. I also want everybody to know that if you like anything that you saw here and you're like, I'd like to pop over to Able and see what, the, see what it looks like. Number one, you've got a code for 20% off, which is 20 gen mom, like two zero gen mom, 20% off anything you buy. Okay. And we'll put the link in all the places. We'll put the link in the stories and in the post. Um, but also Able has a try before you buy feature and you can, order up to eight items and just keep them for seven days and try them on like no risk, no problem. I love that. Like, so, um, you don't, it's again, you're not stuck with something cause you just hit purchase. All right. Here's another thing I want you to know about Allison. Um, go don't download her like latest freebie. It's the weekend getaway packing list. Can you tell everybody where to get it? Allison? Yes, you can get that at alphaformulas.com slash Jen. Yep, perfect. Okay, just, it's all yours. Just hit yes. download. It's got nine outfits per season. So whether you've got spring break coming up or summer, like one of the biggest questions women come to me with is, help me, I don't know what to pack. And this is kind of, I like geek. I totally geek out on packing. I know most people don't do this, but I absolutely love putting together packing lists and creating kind of mini capsule wardrobes within each packing list so that you can use items in multiple different ways and just really make it a no brainer. And I'll walk you through, you know, my process for packing and also give you outfit ideas. And these are pieces that you can, for the most part, shop your closet with, but you can absolutely add a cute new dress in there too. And these will work. Yep. Honestly, these dresses work year round. They seriously do. I've paired them up in different ways, like with fall items, um, you know, I've played around with a lot of different styling on these just because I'd like to do that kind of stuff, but pair them with the ankle boots in the fall and the cardigans and the denim jackets. And you can absolutely wear these dresses year round. So they're going to work no matter where you're traveling on your weekend packing. Perfect. You guys also pick up Allison's book. It's called the ultimate book of outfit formulas, a solution to what should I wear? Um, and you can get that anywhere books are sold, of course um for a little like boost a little help sometimes we need somebody to grab us by the hand and just walk us through the thing right yeah. and this book is truly kind of like a fashion 101 for everyone if this is something that's new to you 
or even if you feel like you're a seasoned pro, it's a good way to just kind of go back and reevaluate, you know, your body shape, what colors flatter you most. And you also get 64 different outfit ideas in that book that you, again, can shop your closet for. Perfect. All right. Hey, thanks for the tips. Thank um, you. I know how to style these. I love how you call them hero pieces because um, they are. Um, and so let's, let's, do, let's pick another one and do another one next month. Awesome. Um, I love it. Thank you for your like incredible expertise. By the way, you look great. And somebody asked, they said, Allison, we see you're doing the full tuck instead of a, a partial tuck, the half tuck. Is that also in style? And I think it is, right? It is. It absolutely is, especially with the high-waisted jeans. And honestly, this is a bodysuit. I found this thing on Amazon. I ordered it in four different colors because I loved it. It's super comfy. And I'm yeah. like, this morning when I was trying to decide what to wear, I have my rotation that I do for podcasts and interviews and things. I'm like, okay, it's time for the pink bodysuit. <laughs> but yes, full tucking is definitely in style, especially with your high-waisted jeans. Yep, that's it. All right, you guys. Thanks, Allison. Everybody All right, thanks, Jen. See you next time. Bye.